Yeah, the Watchtower is uh, is quite different uh, than my first fiction, 10 to 11. It was this time it's, um, there was not a character I was inspired from. It it was totally made up uh, the story, but it's a story that can uh, that can happen any time. It's not a fantastic story, but uh, it becomes a story in my mind. <laughs> This young woman fleeing from the biggest secret of her life and trying to hide it in her soul and body and then uh, giving uh, her own fight alone first with this conscious. I'm not telling a story only about Turkey. So ancestors everywhere, or it doesn't. Maybe if it, even if it's not incest, uh, rape is everywhere. Uh, so I would see it as more like a rape. I mean, to to have a global uh, view, a, a child that you may have. Uh, without your own will and um, so uh, there are much more than it is spoken up of course because it is uh, it's a taboo you cannot speak about it anywhere it's not something I mean who would tell uh, oh I raped or who would tell oh I uh, I actually raped my nephew in which country nowhere else nowhere <laughs> And then the man uh, who flees to a watchtower in the middle of nowhere because he's fleeing from being watched but prefers to watch and uh, hoping with the hope that he can heal his conscious problems. And once they meet, it's the fight they, they give alone changes, becomes a different fight once the other person, when you are watched by the other one as well. So it's, uh, I, I, I wanted to see when those two uh, souls come together, how they uh, treat each other about this conscious. Yesterday you told me you found only the locations later on. You mm -hmm. first wanted to make the, the movie in the south. Mm -hmm. But tell me more about the locations, because they're absolutely the third main actor in the, in the movie. I don't find the location a reason to make a film. Because uh, some, for some people it is, oh, this location, I should make a film. Like when I first heard about this watchtower, I never had the urge to make a film there. But it appeared only when, again, to my mind, when, my when I was looking for such a uh, place for my character to flee, where he is uh, like a refugee, where I was looking for a place for him and for her as well, uh, like a refugee place, you know, a place where they both don't belong to, where they have no past and probably no future. And it's, it's just this temporary moment that they are sharing, they're witnessing in their lives uh, between each other. And probably they are the only two. And they have no past or future together, but they are the only two who share this present moment that is a very critical moment of their, both of their lives. So I wanted them to be in a location where both don't feel any belonging and they don't want to, especially for the girl, uh, for not wanting to, for Nihat, Maybe, but it, he didn't go there as a home feeling. He went there to maybe heal his uh, wound.